here we go yeah i done got rusty at it i'm sorry but here we go that's the onion the shrimp and the sausage is in there somewhere mm -mm -mm. y'all know how i missed that that's tasha that's steph let's go ahead and fill in the rest we gonna eat a little prank a little our story time is the best have you lol when you click play no nah, this ain't no clickbait What's up, y'all? It's Tasha. I'm back with another solo video. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs down or exit stage. Right. This is right. Okay. Now, I'm going to let my baby do it to me. Let's get into the video. All right, y'all. I'm back. Um, I had to change my shirt because I dropped something on it. And y'all know I don't like having like wet shirts so yeah i had to change my shirt i'm gonna go ahead and eat like i said and do what we doing okay i'm gonna suck the little shrimp because everybody like this stephanie especially mm -mm -mm. it's so good too the broth like it's like shrimp broth had to do my thumbnail y'all so i'm just gonna suck the shrimp again Mm -mm -mm. My baby hungry, y'all. Stephanie hasn't eaten. I don't think she's eating all day. Have you eaten all day? Yeah, I ate a oh, okay. So she did eat. I didn't eat. I think I did, actually. I should be lying. I should be on here lying, y'all. <laughs> what a piece of shit I am. Mm. Only ate once. This is so good. Mm-hmm. All you who don't know what a potato volcano is, you about to find out. So we got a sausage. Stephanie probably, you know, edited a lot of this out. Sorry, babe. So you just you get the potato, you get the shrimp out, and you try not to burn yourself. Whew. What? Did my onions falling? Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I done got rusty at it. I'm sorry. But here we go. That's the onion. The shrimp and the sausage is in there somewhere. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all mm. know how I missed that. That was so good. I gotta have me another one. But y'all know trying the carb thing so I'm gonna try an egg in a second an egg volcano mm, 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 mm. I don't let YouTube get to me y'all huh over here letting my hands get dirty I don't know what's going on with me no idea Thank you guys so much for all the love you showed my baby last uh, yesterday. I love that. I mean, we get negative comments here and there, not a whole lot. But when he's on, I don't feel like we really get any, and I love that nobody comes for my child and i appreciate y'all for that say so, that's why i need d-shell snow crab because he's oh i think i got something here y'all got me some mate mm. Mm -mm -mm. is this my same potato i hope so because i said i was only gonna do one So good. So good. Yeah, I know we already talked about VidCon, but I just got to reiterate. 
It was an amazing experience. Meeting all those people who we watch, you know, but never really, really met. It was wonderful. And I love the way you, ooh, I love the way y'all loved it, you know? I love our um, subscribers. I love you guys. Y'all are so positive. Man, y'all just don't know. I, I feel like we have them. Of course, I don't look at everybody else's comments, um, other channels' comments like that. Like, I look at ours, but. Man, if I'm precise on myself, I feel like we got some, one of the best, um, subscribers ever. Y'all love the love. And we love y'all for that. Because we need it. We need it sometimes. Yeah, we need it. Um, sometimes I... I don't know. I, ain't gonna, I haven't woke up irritated in a long time. But if I did, besides my wife and my son, y'all show me that love. I love it. I love it. Y'all show us. Let me see. I'm going to put a sausage. A sausage on the egg. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. I'm ratchet, huh? Ugh. Sometimes I do get on my nerves. Especially when, I do, I do. Especially when like Stephanie's talking to me. Stephanie asked me a regular question. A regular question. And my response sounds so snappy. And like, I didn't listen to myself before until she, until she told me. That was like one of her complaints about me. That I just seemed like so snappy, like my, like I have an attitude. And I'm like, nah, you don't know what you're talking about. She's like, I wish I could record you. And I'm like, Psh, whatever, girl, bye. But I think it was about a month ago. I heard myself respond to her. And I didn't have an attitude at all. I wasn't upset. I wasn't angry. It was irregular. And I just responded snappy as hell. I was like, oh, you are an asshole. But not yet, an, un, an unmad asshole. Uh -uh. I had to stop myself. And I got to try to teach myself not to sound like I'm just mad. Mm. I'm ready, baby. You ready? Mm-hmm. Let's go, let's go. Hey, my the channel if you're new to the channel hit subscribe join the family if you like good food is the place to be come have a little fun with your girl don't say it i was gonna say tell them to guess hey my connectors welcome back to the channel is this dodo nope but i don't like it i don't like this brown stuff you can yeah it's fine i'll eat you Mm. I saved that egg for you, baby. Hey. You want some of that? I got some sausage. <clears throat> I got two. Two. Mm. I got one. Woo. One shrimp. That sauce ain't turned out bomb. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Just for, in case you guys are new, we do topics, viewer topics. So if you guys do have a topic, you can send us a DM on Instagram or Facebook. I prefer Instagram at Steph and Tasha. Um, you can tell us anything. You will remain anonymous unless you don't want to be anonymous. All right, so first topic is, this is what she says. I have a good friend and we do a lot of social things together, like volunteer and doing things in the summer with our kids. So one day when she was eating lunch at work, she noticed her friend's husband at her job. Now I'm assuming her friend does not work at her job. Right. Her, but she just noticed that her friend's husband, her friend's husband was there. Okay. Okay, so then I noticed my supervisor going out to his truck. She got in and he brought her back when our lunch was over. Okay. Then she says, okay, he's a businessman, so I didn't think anything of it. Now, I don't know what that has to do with anything. Maybe she thought they was... They had business, business together, together, yeah. Maybe. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so this, this has been happening over the last couple weeks. Then I noticed one day when he comes, 
he opens the door she gets in and he gave her a romantic kiss oh <laughs> now i'm about to piss in my pants i never did let him see me and now my supervisor wants him to meet me wants me to meet him she says she's in love what do i do do oh i say God. something to my friend or what i'm so scared meet him <laughs> meet him mm. meet him first of all she needs to go to uh, she needs to go to her friend she needs to tell her friend that's her friend you can't do that and uh, first of all your friend might be a little bit upset with you for not saying something sooner but you ain't really got to tell her all that because they're not gonna come up with timelines either the husband ain't gonna come up with timelines because he's gonna lie about it anyway and so is the supervisor so you don't have to do you don't have to do all that what you need to do is just tell your friend you saw the other day, the next time you see them, tell her you saw this and you saw him give her a romantic kiss. I don't care if you make it up and say it was yesterday when you saw it. It don't matter. You need to tell her because he's cheating on his wife. Mm -hmm. Now, some people don't want to lose friends. I know I had, I feel like I had some friends that had a little issue. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay. Why are you playing? I think I overcooked it. It's not as tender as when Stephanie cooks it. Nothing is though. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Shit, I'm over here enjoying the life. Stephanie, like, right? <laughs> okay. So, shoot. Can I say something? Like, why you eat? Mm -hmm. Um, I would have told the first day I saw him. I wouldn't have been able, been able to hold that in. Uh, and I wouldn't even consider losing anybody as a friend or anything. I would have told that day. I saw your husband up here. He. And then, especially if I saw him a few days, he's been coming up here. You need to be up here. Come mm -hmm. up here on um at twelve o'clock, cause he be up here every day. Okay. Now we got to the point where we at the two week period. And the, the supervisor said, uh, "I want you to meet him." I tell her, I will tell the girl to come. I'll be like, "Okay, y'all meet him." Uh, my friend be right there with me. She should tell her supervisor too. Yeah. Because obviously you and your supervisor are somewhat close if she wants you to meet somebody that she's in love with. You guys obviously talk and have conversations. So. Yes. Um, and if she's in love with him, she must have been dealing with him for quite some time unless she's just mm -hmm. crazy. Um, or not, I won't say crazy, but unless she's just one of those types. So, um, yeah, she need to tell them both. That's so crazy how things happen though. Yeah, it is. He over here cheating and then just so happened he's cheating with somebody that works with his wife's friend yeah you've been getting seen every day right every day so ain't no way you can deny it mm -hmm. there's nothing you can do take you take a picture of him take a picture send it to her but i say that you need to i say take a picture too yes definitely. so you have Hell proof yeah. because he could be like no she lying i just mm -hmm. came up there for he could say that it's all business and then your supervisor could turn around and defend him too if she wants to and just be like yeah it's business you know if she finds she probably doesn't know now but she'll probably you know some people will just go ahead along with it don't want to cause drama and just be like yeah and she'll probably still deal with him who knows but you need to tell your friend and you need to have proof that's so embarrassing if your ass was over here dating somebody at my friend's job that's what i don't get about like some people like I mean, I don't say I don't get it, but like Stephanie always stresses that how embarrassing it is. And I know a lot of women feel that way. Like, I don't feel like I would be embarrassed. I would just be mad, but I can understand how people feel different ways. Like me, my first reaction is anger. I don't care if anybody saw it, but I feel like a lot of women are embarrassed because they're like, you made me look dumb. Yeah. You know, you made me look stupid. So what about um, her losing her friend? I mean, I think if she's mature, she's not going to lose her, but I mean, maybe... I I feel like the, uh, the, you can lose her if she either doesn't believe you or if she feels like you knew and you didn't say anything sooner. Yeah. You know, because if 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 one of my friends if thank you. <laughs> if one of my friends knew that you were cheating on me and they didn't tell me but they waited 6 months and was like, "Well, I saw Stephanie cheating on you 6 months ago. She's been cheating." Yeah. I would cuss them out. Now, I don't think I would end the friendship, but I'll be like, why wouldn't you tell me you, and I would go kind of go off on them. Why wouldn't you tell me my woman was cheating on me? But I'm not going to end my friendship. But then again, I don't know because I haven't been through it. I can't say what I will do unless I'm in that situation. If you are a viewer, how soon would you say something to your friend? And then again, it depends on what friend it is. 
Is it really a friend? Is it just somebody I associate with and I hang out with? If it's somebody I just hang out with, I, I'm not going to tell nothing. That's not my business. That's not my place. Right. You're going to have to figure it out yourself. But if this is a close friend, like let's say Lauren, and I saw somebody, I would, I would call her immediately. I would pick up the phone immediately and say, you need to come down here or such and such is here. He went and took the supervisor. So by the time he came back, the suit, the, she would already be there right. and seeing what's so going on. You talking about day one? Day you one. You ain't seen nothing inappropriate, but you saw him coming and she got in the car. You'd be like, yes. come here. I'll be like, do yes. you know why your husband is up here exactly. picking up my supervisor? Yes. That's do you have business here? Then, okay, yeah. we all good. But I would let yeah. her know the, not day of, second of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The second I saw that, I would tell. Me too. Because you know, when it's a close friend, you love them like you love yourself. So you're not about to let them get hurt. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if y'all have any advice for her or if you guys have ever been in this situation, please let her know. We are open to any and all comments. Say whatever you will. Please be respectful. Um, if you're not respectful, that's on you. You know, it is what it is. But we kind of like to be respectful over here. If you come for me, I come for you. That's kind of how we do it over here in these parts. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you think. Um, Steph and Tasha Vlogs, the link is in the description below. We have a vlog channel. I'm sorry, I never say it the right way. Stephanie does the outro, y'all. Um, set your notifications to all so you know when we post a new video, live stream, or premiere. I said it right there. Oh! And until next time, only good vibes. Peace.